Today we're going to make a traditional Swedish casserole. It's called Janssen's, I think the English translation is Janssen's Temptation, I think, I'm not sure. There's a lot of prep work that goes into this casserole. And the first thing that we do need is potatoes. So I went ahead and cut up raw potatoes, peeled them, and cut them into matchstick sizes. Any bigger than this and your casserole is going to take forever. Um, they take a long time as it is, so really thin um, matchstick sizes. And we're going to need onion. I use white onion. And we're going to, don't, don't run away, don't run away. Um, we're going to use anchovies. Yes, anchovies. Um, the only place that I can get this here is a store called Denninger's. Um, I know that it's like, the, the, the first thing you're going to say is, oh my god, forget it, no, never. But I hate anchovies. But I love this casserole. So you never know. you got to try everything once, right? So the other thing that we are going to need is heavy whipping cream or heavy cream. Another thing that we need is butter. We need lots of butter. That's not a lot of ingredients, but that's what we're going to need. So I'm going to put some of this away and I'm going to start doing my anchovies. I'm going to start working on my anchovies. I'm going to be cleaning them and I'm going to be taking the heads off and all of that fun stuff that goes along with cleaning fish. If you are squeamish about that sort of thing, this would be a good time to turn the video off. So here we go. And I'll just show you a few because I need quite a lot of these. So the first thing I do is cut the head off, cut the tail off. You've got this little little piece here at the bottom you want to get off and I'm trying to do it at an angle where I can show you then I go right into the center and cut all the way down the center and then scrape the inside out a little bit loosen the backbone there and pull it off and it comes off really simple then I go ahead and just scrape out anything that I don't think should be there, don't want there, and I'm going to pile them up. These tiny little bones in here, um, they're going to melt. They're going to melt away in the casserole. You don't even have to be concerned about it. Turn out very good. Sometimes these things fall apart on you, but that's okay. You can still, you can still work with them and take the insides out and scrape away anything else that I don't want. And one more. And when I'm done with all these, because I'm, I'm probably going to use this whole can, I'm going to give them a quick rinse. Um, just a quick one. I don't want to sit there and soak them underwater, but I will give them a quick rinse. And it goes really quick once you get the hang of it. Okay, I'm almost done cutting up my onions. I just have one left to go. And I have three very, very large onions. And I'm going to make a couple of casseroles out of this, smaller ones, not one big, huge one, because I'm going to take um, a couple of casseroles over to my Nana pop up and then it's easier to just keep them in the casserole dish when you're uh, driving. You don't have to, it keeps its form, you don't have to scoop it out of one big casserole. So I have cut up three big large onions. And I have everything else ready. And then we're just going to start assembling our casserole very easy to do. I've rinsed my anchovies just a little bit. I don't want to rinse them too much because that's where the flavor is. Let me wash my hands and we'll get started. First thing I'm going to do in, I'll just show you one casserole because I got many to do. I'm going to put butter at the bottom of the casserole. A lot of butter is used in this dish. This is not for the faint of heart, for sure. So 
I just put it all along the sides and the top because you're going to put cream in here too and sometimes it can get a little messy. Next thing I do, put this aside, is get my potatoes. I have my cold potatoes here and they're a little bit wet but that's not going to, it's not going to matter. And I've preheated my oven to 400 degrees. A little much there. A little much. Then I'm going to put my anchovies on there. And you don't need them side by side and uh, close together. This is all going to melt um, together and you're going to have many layers of them. So you don't need a whole lot. I'm going to wash my hands again. This is a very time consuming casserole but worth every minute of it. And I'm going to put onions on there. I like a lot of onions. How much onions you use, how much anchovies you use is totally up to you. There's really no set um, order of things. And then I'm going to put my potatoes back on. Sorry, I keep rinsing my rinsing my hands. And I'm going to put another layer of potatoes. And this is the only thing that I'm going to do with these potatoes, so sticking my hands in there isn't going to be a huge deal. And just go ahead and layer your anchovies on again. And again, let me wash my hands because we're going to do onions again. And we're almost done with this one. How many layers you do really doesn't, um, it's all a preference. And I like a lot of onions, so. And this is so creamy and it will melt in your mouth. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. But it does take time in the oven because they are raw potatoes. And this is the last layer. This is a tricky one. And then we will put the rest of what needs to go on there, on there. I'm not going to put salt in here. The um, anchovies are very, very salty. And we are going to use the liquid of the anchovies in the can. So we don't need salt. For sure. Okay, last step. We're going to take the anchovy liquid and we're going to just drizzle a little bit on there. Not a lot. This is very strong. You don't need a lot. Just a little bit. Just to get that flavor. And then we are going to put cream in there. This one, I would say, put the cream, oh, oh, poop, oh, excuse me, shouldn't have used my potty mouth, um, halfway up the casserole dish. Because it could spill over when it's bubbling. And it's almost at half. So I'm going to leave it at half. And then we're going to put butter on it. Talk about overindulgence. It's not for the faint of heart. And then we're going to take a couple of dabs of butter. Oh boy, did I make a mess. And we're just going to put that on top. There we go. 
and there we are. It goes in the sink. This is going to go into the oven at 400 degrees, and I'm not sure how long it's going to take. Um, this, I think it just depends on the kind of potato you're using, but I'll let you know when we come back. It took about an hour and a half in the oven at 400. Always remember to put a cookie sheet down with these um, dishes because it bubbles over. The cream starts to bubble, the butter melts, everything starts to blend, and it always spills over. But I love that rustic look. That works for me. So I'm going to have a little taste. This is super hot. But I, I'm, I'll probably eat this for lunch, dinner, and probably breakfast tomorrow. Oh, that's beautiful. That dish makes me homesick for sure. If you can get past the point of that there's anchovies in here, I can guarantee you, you will love this. So that's it for my anchovy casserole. Till next time, Ado. Hey